What if all your hearts were stolen? And the player that stole them is now immortal. How would you kill him? Well, it first started when I joined this SMP. Guys, chill. We caught you using hearts. We need to face punishment. Wait, chill. Ah. Relax, guys. You guys don't need to do this. Oh my way. Oh my God. I need to dodge everything right now. And I just need to make it to the bottom. But wait, I see myself. Which means this isn't a normal dropper. I've been put into an infinite loop where every minute I'll lose a heart until I'm banned. I don't have anything to clutch with in my inventory. Okay, first of all, I'm going to put a furnace right there. But the problem is if I land on the furnace, I'll take full damage and die. But I can make a flint and steel. And since I have TNT, if I light the TNT and time it right, I can potentially negate full damage, making me survive a drop. I've already lost one heart. I put it in. I put it in. Oh my god, that was so fast. I just need to keep dodging these until my iron smelts. But it seems like they keep changing places. Okay, I've collected the iron. I just need to make one foot of steel and place it right there. Now, as soon as I light the TNT, it'll knock me back and I have to try aim for the closest block. It's low. Oh, and I've just dropped to one heart. Every six hours, it's illegal to gain hearts. And someone's just framed me for breaking the rules. Now the immortal player is after my head, and I need hearts to beat him. If I can just craft a boat, I can use the boat to reach the bottom and escape this prison safely. So let's just do that and make my way down. But it doesn't seem to be working. Have they patched the boat? I'm on the bomb. Wait, I, I hit the bomb, but I got TP'd up. Okay, that didn't work. Oh my God. What if I just break out? That was like the easy thing. Wait, I don't remember this being outside. I haven't broken into my escape. Where am I? Oh my God, wait, I'm falling again. But this time I'm surrounded by lava and I have nothing to MLG with. Okay, I built out slightly. I have no more wood left. Hop into the boat. I'm in the boat. I'm in the boat. I just don't burn. If I break this, okay, lava pours out. Because if that lava touches me, I'll die to flames and come on this should work the second time i just need to hope as soon as i touch the floor i'm out oh no okay but the boat's still there i just get on the boat again i'm down hop into this one and i've escaped and i've broken the loop i need to fight the immortal player in three hours but currently we're in a six hour heart grace period which means you can't gain hearts but in this ender chest i have a bunch of loot including a heart but if i put this in my inventory it'll let everyone know i've broken the rules and then they'll come to kill me so i won't use this for now but i have golden apples use in the gapples, I can use the fake heart glitch, which will give me infinite hearts and no one will know. All I need to do is eat this and then eat the golden apple straight after and wait for my absorption to run out. And it's just gone. And I've just kept the hearts. Right now, this is the only way I can gain hearts without being caught. But even though hearts are banned, players on the server are currently cheating to gain them. And they're using a hearts factory. And they're already all there. There's one, two, three, four. And I don't know how many are inside. This honestly seems heavily guarded. So I may have to lure one of the workers away just so there's an opening and i can walk in this is a good spot right now i have to make an end of stasis chamber just so i have an instant way back okay i'm in a good position right now and i'm just gonna leave my ult here now with the remaining heart i have i'm gonna alert everyone i've broken a rule so they'll come running and all i need to do is put this in my inventory okay it's told them i have an illegal heart which means at this moment they're running towards me oh okay i'm here and they're getting really mad right now with no one outside the factory i could easily walk inside and then I can find out how they're cheating to get hearts. Okay, jump in. I'm inside. So right below me must be how they're helping the mortal player get hearts. Oh my god, what? Yo, I've just taken so much damage. Why am I taking damage? Wait, there's a barrier. This means whatever's inside the factory must be against the rules. And the immortal player wants no one to find out. Look like I have an ender pill. But oh my god, I'm taking way too much damage. So I need to get out. I made it out on one heart. This means all my fake hearts are now gone. Just in case I'm going to put another ender pill here. And kind of block you off. How are the workers not affected by the barriers? And after some thinking, I realized it was the netherite gear. Which means for me to enter the barrier, I need a set of netherite gear. But I don't have the resources. But that's when I came up with a plan to kill one of the workers. And I can use this entire entrance as a trap. Because since the workers are close to the immortal player, it means they'll have a lot of hearts. So first I need to dig out this entire area. I need to make this hole go down to bedrock. After this, I think it's deep enough because I've reached bedrock. And for the next part, I need these lava buckets. I should jump all the way down and kind of fill this entire place up with lava because once they fall them, they'll take fall damage, but that won't kill them because after that, the lava will burn them and they'll die. Well, that's all the lava I could get. And that's still not enough because I'm going to be waiting here at the bottom, ready to attack them at the same time they're dying. Now I've replaced the floor with moss. I should replace this heart into my inventory, which will then send this message again. And now the gods will chase me to their death. Hey, Cliff, we know you're in there. Come on. Oh my God, you actual idiot. Okay, I need to quickly go all the way down. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Strength potion. Just keep attacking him. Oh my God. 
Oh my! What? With all the damage combined, his heart couldn't last. I've now got an extra heart too, but people are gonna be very sus. And now I'm in full netherite, which means the barrier shouldn't affect me, and I can walk straight in. And then I can sabotage the immortal's health machine. He just died to lava, and I've gained an extra heart. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, oh my god, that was rough. But I should be able to come through this now. I just jump all the way down. Okay, sick. I've now infiltrated the factory. And wait, what is this? Right, they're, they're kind of watching me, which is kind of creepy. And there's so many hearts inside here. Wait a second. The real reason behind the factory is an alt killer. They spawn alt only to kill them so they could get infinite hearts. But if I steal any of these hearts, everyone will know I'm inside the factory. But luckily, I have some end crystals. I could use the end crystals to blow up this entire factory. And that will set them back a few hours. But that won't help me. So instead, I'm just going to kill you. Wait, it's just said I gained a heart. I have gone up a heart, but this entire factory was a trap. Wait, what happened? I'm taking damage. I'm taking crazy damage. What's going on? Wait, I'm dying. I'm dying. The factory is going to lockdown and anyone currently inside will take an enormous amount of damage. And since the rest of the players have max hearts, it's only affecting me. Yo, 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 yo. Get out, get out, get out. End the pill, please. Eat the gapple, eat the gapple, eat the gapple. What just happened? The factory is now going to have doubles of the scurry. And with only two hours left till my fight, that doesn't give me enough time to blow up the factory because they'll just go somewhere else. So I need a new plan. And the new plan involves this shulker. Yeah, legit, only this. I'm going to use a shulker to create a ban vault. And I'm going to give it to every single ult. So by the time everyone realizes, they'll have no more ults to farm and no more access to hearts. All I need to do is just spam L all the way through. That's until every page is covered. And now I just need to fill this entire shulker. But one shulker is not enough. I need at least six if I want to be successful, but the end is no longer available and there's only one person that holds all the shulkers. Six shulkers are gonna cost you 20 hearts. Bro, what? Now I need to figure out how to get 20 hearts, but I only have one right now and each time I put another heart in my inventory, everyone will keep knowing exactly where I am, so we can't do that. Oh no, you take the- Wait, what are these guys doing? You give me, say, I don't know, 10 diamonds and I get all that and I give you a well, quarter of a stack of right. that also- Are these guys trading for loot? Yeah. I've randomly stumbled across a trade going down and i can secretly steal their loot by using an easy trick they're right above me right now i've made it really fast whenever they throw some loot on the floor my minecart should pick it up giving me all the hearts they're gonna trade i'm looking for the heart right now just go both the problem is I can't take the heart out of the hopper. Because if I do, it'll tell them I'm underneath them. Okay, what I need now is I need to dig a straight line. Okay, this should actually be good. I just need to push it along. Go! And that's off! Now the heart should be transferred back to my house. I've successfully stolen hearts. Now these hearts right here will help me with my next plan. It's been so long, there's cobwebs everywhere. But welcome to the real plan. Since I can't have hearts in my inventory, I can put them in chests and save them till the last fight. I've transferred the hearts into this chest. And now I need to lure a customer over. I'm going to rig it so we will constantly lose, giving me every heart possible. All right, time to play some well, roulette. Cool. I'm sure you know, you've already got hearts ready. Um, if not, just don't throw them to me because I know about the grace period right now. So just, you can put them in the chest. And now it's off. <laughs> I actually oh won. Let's go. You just won two yes. Now that he's won, he was addicted. And it was time to drain him from all his hearts. I want to go with green this time. Green's risky. There's only two of them. Give me green, please. Keep going, keep going, keep it's, going. Oh. It's black. The door's right there. You can leave at any time. Man, this is rigged. And I've gained 22 hearts, which means I now have enough to buy shulkers. And I can finally ban the all accounts. The hearts are in here. The hearts are in here. Take them. Give me the six shulkers mm -hmm. right now. Nice to do business with you. Take care. Now that I've acquired the shulkers, I was ready to go back inside the factory. Wait, there's more people outside there. I can't go through the main entrance. This just means I need to sneak around the back. Where's the border gone? Okay, just go all the way down. Oh my god, I did not see that. Uh, she's FK, never mind, we're good. I could throw one to Kipley, but she might help me later on. It's gone, and boom. Now there's only two more left, but the immortal player can't gain many hearts from them. I did say I wouldn't ban you, but killing you is a different story. There we go. And I can just, oh no. Okay, wait, I picked up the heart accidentally. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Bad, bad. That was tough. Now that the immortal player's operation was shut down, I now had a fighting chance, and I'd win my fight against him. Okay, I'm inside their house right now, and this is a good spot, because they won't stop getting hearts for the immortal player. 
here. So I'm gonna bait them here and put them in a death loop, gaining all the hearts they just stole. It's I dig this trap all the way down and a bed right there. Because when they fall into the hole, I'm gonna break the slime blocks, making them click on the bed, which will then set their spawn. Oh my god. Oh my what? god. Drink it. You're in here. You're in here for a death yeah. loop. Damage. I'm gonna take all your hearts. Oh my god. My armor. I oh my god. Die. This is insane. I'm getting no more hearts. My time had run out. The duel was starting, meaning you could no longer gain any hearts. This is a little bit scary, but before anything goes, I'm gonna redeem these hearts. Now look at my hearts. But even though I have around 60 hearts, the immortal player has over 200. I have over 300. Oh my to god. Try to beat me. Oh my god. I knew do damage. Come here, Cliff. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. Oh, this quit. is bad. But I have this. What? What is? Why? Why do you have a redstone block? What I didn't tell you was before this duel, I set up TNT all underground. Because I know I wasn't going to win normally. So I had to improvise. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait. You oh, cheater. Oh, my. You cheater. I'm going to die. Oh. Oh, God, no. Yes. Oh, you thought I could yes. die? Oh, I have all those my hearts. God. I know you'll love that TNT. Oh, I did a lot of damage. What? I've just killed the immortal player, and now I can stay on the server. 